over at Plant Obsessed. And today we're going to take a look in on the African Nightcrawlers in the Vermi Bag Low Mammoth. Alright, so I have to be careful because I do have a gnat trap in there. And so I'm going to try and do this delicately. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be a cloud of gnats when I roll this open. Okay, so here we are. Did not have a cloud of gnats. Um, but let me wipe off the castings off of this so that you can see the number of flies that are in this little trap. That is insane. There's hundreds hundreds and hundreds and even though there's no lid on this there's still not any worms in it um, I think they must sense it somehow that it's not a good idea I will make sure that I get that refreshed before I get going again so look in here on top didn't see any worms on top on top but going right below I think I put six handfuls of brand new bedding on top and look right here that is that is castings made just from the paper that I added last time so the African night crawlers even though they might be little they are still living much up to their reputation as being um, absolutely the best at processing carbon so last time I also I did watch the video this time and what we did do is we've got our experiment about the cooked versus uncooked carrots and then I believe there's also some cabbage and other random things in there so fingers crossed that we will find a worm ball and it should be dead center here sticks avocado it's upside down so if there was a worm ball we might have missed it a little bit of a worm ball Yeah, you can see the mites in here on the empty one. Let's see if we can get that to catch the light a little. They're literally dimpling the inside of that. So, you know, part of me is like, I don't think the worms are the ones that are really eating this kind of food. I think it's the mites and the other helpers that are doing it for me. So, for as much bedding as we put in, I'm... <laughs> pretty amazed it looks like there's half of it left so that was about 10 days ago so I'm just gonna start excavating here and see what we find so we've got another avocado with a proper worm ball inside of it now this was flesh this was all flesh in here this uh, you can also see there's a good number of pot worms the reason, the way you can tell the uh, pot worms from regular worms is that they are not um, pink. And so you can tell these worms that are all white are actually pot worms. Now we should have carrots and cabbage, um, carrots, cabbage, onions. I looked at the video and now I'm drawing a blank. I know there's carrots. There should be carrots. I should have already ran into the carrots because I think the avocado was on top. So there's a mango pit. Doesn't look like anybody's gotten into it too much. I don't remember when I put that in there. So yeah, the carrots, uh, so much for my carrot experiment, cooked versus uncooked. Uh, 10 days is apparently too long either way that's insane there there should be carrots I'm gonna keep digging this bin should not have been able to take care of I don't know what was there like eight carrots and half of them were half of them were uh, cooked and half were completely raw if you watch that video you see me where I like snap the carrot in half there's no way it's deeper than this. And this is this is as tall as I am. I'm not going to get much deeper from from this end. So unless 
I don't know, the cats came in here and ate the carrots. Let's see, another pit of a mango. Looks like they've eaten that from the inside out. I can't believe those carrots are gone. I just watched uh, another person's channel that put in a whole uh, head of lettuce and they came back seven days later and it was all gone. This is the time of year these guys should be slowing down. Let's see, here's my Florida avocado. I thought it was kind of starting to grow last time, maybe not. Okay, so they've eaten all of their carrots. That's, that's pretty insane for a raw carrot to be gone in less than two weeks. I had it a sort of a similar experiment in the basement with the red wigglers and they took like a month to go through carrots. So again, I am underestimating these guys in how much food that they're going to eat. Uh, all right, well, that was kind of anticlimactic, wasn't it? Well, I'm going to put whatever food is still here in the bottom, and then I do have a treat for them. Um, I've been taking the fallen apples that the squirrels have decided to uh, do some product testing on, and uh, they take a bite and they throw it on the ground, which makes me really not like squirrels. Um, but, uh, you know, we all have to live, right? So I am going to give them some of the bedding. Gave them six handfuls last time. The bin is getting pretty full, so I'm just going to give them like two this time. And then they are going to get some apple goo that I made just for them. Hopefully that will tide them over. I'm going to have to start keeping an eye on these guys a little bit more. Alright, so that's one handful and two handfuls. Kind of spread that out a bit. Oh, another bonsai wire. Okay, let me go get their apple goo. Okay, so this is about this bowl. I'm not sure. It's over a gallon. But considering that they killed off all those app or all of those um, carrots so fast, I don't feel bad about giving them this much apple goo. Now they've got more than enough room if this heats up. Um, they've got more than enough room to escape to the edges and then also um, they can go down deeper. But I'm going to put, so that's about a gallon and a half of apple goo. I'm going to give them a little bit more bedding on top just to kind of keep the, the bugs away from it. I think I've done so, you know, the the uh, trap to keep uh, gnats away has done such a good job, I'd hate to ruin it by leaving an exposed uh, pile of apple goo here. Alright, well that was a heck of a feeding. What do you guys think? Too much? Um, have to check out on them a little bit sooner. Alright guys, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.